Hey everyone, it is Danny, and I'm here with the latest on Invest 92L. It is located to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. And so in this update, I'll be taking you guys through what is currently happening with it and the latest uh, forecast for it in terms of the track and intensity guidance. Also, estaré incluyendo una breve actualización en español y donde comienza está marcado en los capítulos de este video. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so we're kickstarting with what is happening across the North Atlantic. We're not going to be spending too much time on this, uh, just to bring you guys up to date with what is going on out there. So across the Caribbean, like in the vicinity of the southwestern part of the basin, we can see that there is lots of activity taking place right now. That persistent rainfall is still very much there, uh, bringing impacts to portions of Central America as well as uh, even Colombia. And there is even some afternoon activity developing in parts of Venezuela going down to Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana as well. But for most areas across the Northern Caribbean, it is pretty sunny and dry, uh, maybe with an isolated shower or thunderstorm, but there is really nothing much happening right now. And so let us go ahead and drift to the coast of Africa, well, to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands, where we have our disturbance. Here it is at a close-up view on infrared satellites. We can see that it is pretty disorganized right now, just some scattered showers and thunderstorms. However, However, as we go on to the visible satellite imagery, we can see that there is actually a lot going on with it. And we can almost see that counterclockwise spin with the system. And so uh, in the last couple of frames here, you can see that it is getting darker because uh, the evening set into the night is setting in over in uh, that area further to the east. And so uh, the formation chance has bumped up uh, for the next 48 hours now at 50%, but it remains at 70% for the next next seven days. So it is very likely that this is going to become a depression as we're going to be progressing into uh, the new week. And it is going to be a very interesting week because there is really no uh, certainty. There is no assurance of what could really happen with this uh, at this point in time here. But what is likely is it's becoming a depression and then subsequently a tropical storm uh, acquiring the name Brett, which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season. And so para mi audiencia en español, se espera que la perturbación continúe moviéndose hacia el oeste y podría intensificarse hasta convertirse en una depresión a principios de la nueva semana, posiblemente el lunes o el martes, y eventualmente convertirse en una tormenta tropical a partir de entonces. La incertidumbre radica en dónde podría ir exactamente, pero aún existe la posibilidad de que traiga impactos a las islas del noreste. Now, as we move on to the model uh, track guidance here, we have a few models and uh, we can see here that majority of these are taking this uh, system quite close to the Northeastern Caribbean. And uh, there are even models such as the GFS expecting that this will rapidly develop and even potentially become a hurricane. And in that case, it would miss the Caribbean. However, uh, many models are keeping this as a weak system to maintain an activity and making its way to the Caribbean, uh, possibly as a tropical storm or even as a depression. For example, the ICON model uh, is expecting that. In that case, there would be some good news for uh, parts of the Eastern Caribbean that have been uh, vacant of any rainfall activity for some time. So it would be really good to get a relief in terms of all that rainfall. However, that said rainfall can induce a lot of flooding as well. So it can rapidly go from one condition to the next. Uh, today it's very dry it's very hot it's been that way and then tomorrow uh it's flooding so hopefully that won't be the case with the system but that rainfall increase is definitely needed and there is still a lot of uncertainty down the road because uh we're talking about something for potentially the end of the new week uh that is about to begin and here on the icon model we're also seeing that it is showing another system following in the footsteps of what might be tropical uh, a tropical depression or even tropical storm breath at the time and uh, this is a heads up to the Caribbean for all of us here to ensure that we have plants in place should our area be affected by anything again not guaranteed but here we have the icon expecting that we're gonna be seeing the system moving in as something weak 
and even as we go to the euro model euro is also expecting uh, something similar but showing a stronger system a definite tropical storm uh, that is going to be making its way into the vicinity of the northeastern Caribbean as we're going to be heading into the end of uh, next week going to next Friday and Saturday so in terms of the intensity guidance here we can see that all but one model expecting that we will have this at least being a tropical storm and more of these are expecting that this will eventually intensify into a hurricane one of them showing a category 3 hurricane as of the 18z update and uh this would be pretty historic as i mentioned in last evening's update video if we should have a tropical storm develop that far east in longitude in the main development region would be record breaking as i said before this is something to look out for ahead into the end of july going into august and the peak month of the season which is september but it seems as though we're having that being kick-started due to the anomalously warm uh, ocean surface temperatures as i mentioned that i want to take you guys to the latest prediction out for the season coming from the university of arizona now their first prediction was on the 7th of april where they anticipated 19 storms of which nine could become hurricanes and five major hurricanes now those numbers drastically increase 25 named storms of which 12 could become hurricanes and six major hurricanes but uh I really don't think we're going to be seeing that many storms, not that it is impossible, but I do think that we will certainly see an above average hurricane season, maybe something closer to their initial prediction back in April, but it will be very interesting to see how this hurricane season plays out. Let's take it one storm, one disturbance at a time. And of course, I'll continue to keep you updated. So that is pretty much it for now. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.